Welcome to a penny box. I have a box of pennies here. We're gonna see if we can put these or not. And we will see what kind of finds we got in here. Yep, I got circulated cents. So this will be a fun hunt. Let's see what we find in this box. Um, I've had hit or miss luck on these boxes where the coins are on their side like this. So hopefully this will be a hit and not a miss. But let's find out right now. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. We're on roll number two and uh, just poured it out. Noticed I had a wheat set sticking out here. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's see, we got a 1942. Nice. First weedy in a second roll. Awesome. Roll number four. I've got this 1966 here. This one has a die chip in the nine there. Pretty pretty nice sizable die chip there at that. Um, I've never found one out of 66 four before. Um, Found them in the 1960s and into the 50s, but nothing, not, none as late as 66. So that's a pretty cool find. Roll number 12. Come across another wheat scent here. Didn't notice it till I got to it. This one looks like it had some type of vinegary based substance. Some kind of acid was on it trying to clean the surfaces. 1942. Nice. Um, you see how the surfaces have that kind of yellowish orangey look to it that bright look um so something cleaned it off and uh, altered the color of the surfaces there definitely um and that's usually indicative of like a vinegar uh based s substance okay we've made it roll 15 i've come across another wheat scent here 1957 out of denver how about that that is another wheat scent one date away from the final year, but still counts as a weedy. I don't believe it, but I finally found one of these. 2014 Double Die Obverse. Cherry Picker's Guide variety listed. Um, there's doubling in the date. Liberty and a little bit in, in God We Trust. Mostly in Trust. That is cool. It has a, some dirt on the obverse. Otherwise, it is pretty nice shape overall. That is an awesome find. Final coin in roll 20 and a nice double die obverse. I've been looking for this coin for a long time. So that is really cool and in pretty good shape as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome find. <laughs> roll number 36. Been a little bit since we got a find, but came across the Canadian. This one is a 1987. Okay, that is our first foreign find of the box. Hopefully not our last, but we'll see what happens. Roll number 37, and we got another really cool find. Got a 1972 in terrible shape. Got some scratches and stuff, and it is really worn. But there is, this is a double die obverse. There's doubling in Liberty, 1972, and in God We Trust. You can really see it up in God We Trust on this coin. Um, you can barely make out the doubling through Liberty just because of how worn and beat up this coin is. 1972 is wider, um, but because of the damage on it, it has been flattened out. So you can't really see the actual splitting and stuff. But I believe this is FS102 in the Cherry Picture's Guide, DDO number two out of Variety Vista. There's a slight possibility it could be FS107, but I'm pretty sure it kind of matches up what I can match up looks more like 102 to me. The Both of those are very, very similar double dies. That is cool. That is another double die. Another cherry picker's guide. This box is just producing some, some awesome varieties. That is cool. Um, can't complain about the lack of wheat scents because the varieties are definitely making up for it. Awesome. Roll number seven is producing more finds. I didn't notice this one until I got to it. This is another wheat scent. Looks like it has been uh, dipped in some form of acid to clean it up a little bit. Uh, 1956. This one is pretty rough, but it is still a wheat scent. 
So that is pretty cool. I think it goes right there. All right, we made it to roll 31. In the last few rolls, I was counting as in the 30s, but they're in the 20s. So I'll try to mark that on the uh, on those uh, rolls there. But we have a 1945 Wheaty here as another wheat scent for the uh, wheat scents up here. Boom, wheat scents are growing. Nice. I don't see anything else in this roll, but uh, let's see what else is in all the rest of these rolls. Uh, as soon as I hit the camera to turn it off, we have our second wheat scent in this roll, and it looks a little worn. I was wrong. There was another one in here. I missed it when I glanced through before I hit the camera. This is still roll 31. We have a worn weedy here. Let's see. Is this an old one? 1918? out of Denver that's a teens weedy 1918 out of Denver yep wow pretty rough but the teens wheat scent awesome this, this hunt is just just full of uh, great finds in here now we've made it to roll 37 we got a wheat scent here got another wheat scent here 1938 nice 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 getting some older wheat scents very cool. Roll 38, and I think we got two wheat scents here. First one looks like it's right here. It looks like it's a 40 something. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 1947. Nice, that is a Philly. And then the other one is back here. I saw the wheat ears here. Nope, that's not one. Well, let's look at this one. A little bit more. Let's see what year this one is 1944. Nice. Full 41. Now we've got another Canadian. 1999. There we go. That's another Canadian. Boom. Full 46. We've come across another wheat scent here. 1956 out of Denver. This one is a little worse for wear, but it is a weedy still, so it goes up here with the rest. Full 47. Come across a pretty beat up. Nasty little uh, Canadian here, 1978. There we go, that's our third Canadian of the box. Roll 48. Did I find another find in this roll? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I can't remember if it was last whole roll of this roll. I got the Canadian in, but there is a Canadian, another Canadian for the hunt, 1974. Very cool, there we go. Okay, time to wrap up here. Um, this is probably about the 10th time I try to record to wrap up. I keep getting tongue-dyed or keep messing up or um, having to stop for some reasons. Hopefully this is the, uh, this is the, this is the take. This is the one that works. Um, <laughs> I ended up with 10 wheat scents, uh, three from the 50s, five from the 40s, and a 38 and a 1918 out of Denver. This wheat scent's over 100 years old and it's always uh, great when you find that old wheat scent in the hunt. Four Canadians had the 1966 uh, with the die chip in the nine there. The two best finds of the hunt are this uh, 1972 double die obverse. This matches up to FS 102 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. And a pretty nice 2014 FS 101 double die obverse in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Now hitting just one of these two in a hunt would be awesome but hitting both but two of these varieties in one hunt out of the same box that is just amazing i can't begin to describe just how awesome that is um so that is really cool if i had opened up the box and i just found one of these and no other finds i'd be excited for the box but this this box uh really turned up not not heavy on the wheats but had some really awesome finds in there all right, I've got some uh, we uh, got some pennies over here. We're gonna check and get the album along with these wheats and see what we got to fill and or add to the album. So let me get that done, and we'll be right back and check those albums out. Starting out with the 1918 out of Denver. This is gonna be the only spot fill we have here. I'm gonna put it in this spot and fill an early date hole in our album. Very cool to fill or early date there. So there we go. This is the only wheat scent to make it into the album. All the rest were not good enough to upgrade the rest of the spots. For our second book here, 
Um, I didn't have any that were good enough for upgrades, so none here. We got a few upgrades in book number three. We've got a 2006 that is just a little bit cleaner than the one that's in there. Um, they are close, but I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. I'm going to take a good look and decide before I do that, but in hand, this one does look a bit nicer than this one. Next up, I got a 2007 out of Denver. Just got a much cleaner, nicer example than the one that's in here. Um, it's only a slight upgrade, but I think I'm going to go ahead and switch that one out as well. And then I came across a really nice 2009 Professional Life out of Philly here that I'm going to switch out with this one. This one's pretty nice, but it does have some dirt and stuff on the surfaces. This one is just a bit cleaner, so I'm going to switch that out. So what an amazing hunt we had. Two awesome double dies, the 72 and the 2014. Um, I believe the 2014 is a little bit harder to come by, so that is amazing to come across one of those. Um, that is an awesome find. Uh, for the albums, we filled up one spot, being the early wheat scent, the 1918 out of Denver. Then we had three spots filled in our in our last album, or upgraded. Three spots upgraded in our last album, if I can say it right. All right, um, so yeah, that was a fun hunt. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.